Hi people, it's Sarkovist here, and today I have a rant that I want to get out of my system, and also I think it's actually important that I express my opinions, because it will affect your decision on whether or not you buy the latest Assassin's Creed, well, one of the two, Unity that is, so I'm talking about Unity here, not Rogue. So, what's my major grievance with this game? It's the performance, the technical issues around this game. I haven't played it all the way through, but I've played enough to know that there are some serious shortcomings with this game. The story seems fine, the parkour seems fine, the combat is different, but it's still solid. They're all fine, you know, these classic Assassin's Creed trademarks, but the performance is an absolute mess. First of all, playing at 1080p, which I was able to do with Black Flag without any issues, is just so inconsistent with regards to frame rate. I don't have any problems with running a game at a constant 30 frames per second. Very few people do because it's fine, you know, it's uh, you forget it after a while. But you just can't get a consistent frame rate in this game. It jumps about all the time. One minute it will be 60 and the next it will be 20 or even 15. It's crazy. The thing is, they need to make it more consistent. I, I appreciate the graphics in this game are very good. And I appreciate that to run good graphics, you need to uh, really take advantage of people's hardware and by doing that the frame rate is going to drop. I appreciate that, I get that. And with a games like um, what well, The Last Assassin's Creed, Black Flag, they did it very well. There were no real issues with Black Flag, it was a good looking game and it was a bit demanding. You know, you expect it, you know, like the Crisis games. The thing is though, the frame rate isn't the biggest problem. The biggest problem is the micro stutter, something that affected Watch Dogs earlier this year. And it really is one of the most grating issues for people who have high-end hardware. And it's always, well, I mean, it's annoying for everyone, to be honest, but the thing is it can affect um, hardware no matter how high it is. A micro stutter is, it's a bit like being poked, right? You get poked once, it's fine, you don't care, it's just a poke. You get poked again, it's a little bit annoying. Get poked for 10 minutes straight and you're infuriated, you're frustrated. You certainly can't concentrate on what you're doing while you're being poked. And that is what it does. The thing about micro stutter is it isn't really noticeable when you're watching a video as much. But when you're playing the game and you're actually, you know, you're putting inputs into the game, you're trying to do it, and every so often it will stutter, it's very, very irritating. And the thing is, it doesn't matter how good the game beneath it is, if there's micro stutter it's ruined, it's like a boat with a hole in it. It doesn't matter how great the boat is, it's going to sink. It's, it is the Titanic, you know, a beautifully well made machine but with a massive technical flaw. And that's what I feel about Unity. I'm trying to enjoy it, I'm trying to play through it and enjoy it, but this constant stutter and the fact that I have to decrease the resolution way down to get a decent performance anyway, is infuriating and of course I you know you have to rule out the possibility that it's your hardware so the first thing I did was update the driver which I had done anyway bef before I played the game but I also went on some forums asked around to see if anyone else was getting these issues and they were and not just on the PC this is affecting the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 so all three platforms that run Unity don't run it well I have to say this has not been Ubisoft's year, there was Watch Dogs earlier in the year which was a bit of a disappointment and was also plagued by technical issues and now we have Assassin's Creed Unity and uh, well if they mess up with Far Cry they're going to create some major distrust between them and their customers. To anyone who hasn't bought Assassin's Creed Unity yet and is thinking about getting it, well this isn't a review so I'm not going to definitively say don't get it. But I have to mention that no matter what platform you're getting on, you have to be wary that there are performance issues. You could wait for a patch to come out that might fix it, but it is in a pretty bad state and in my experience games, I mean take Watch Dogs for example, they promised they tighten up but it didn't really get much better. So if you're someone who, like me who does get infuriated by things like micro stutter and a really inconsistent frame rate, I would at least think twice before getting Assassin's Creed Unity. I'll say this though, if you haven't got Black Flag, if you missed it, uh, I'd definitely recommend that actually. I'd say just go back to Black Flag quite frankly because that was an excellent game, ran well, great performance, great game in general. And if you've already got that, then why not try Shadow of Mordor, which is like Assassin's Creed but without the current flaws that exist in Unity. So thank you for staying with me on this rant. As always people, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.